Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tess, if you are new here. I'm a licensed esthetician and in today's video, I wanted to show you what is in my travel bag as far as skincare. So I am home for Thanksgiving. I'm here in Orange County where my mom is and I feel like anytime I'm going on a trip, it's a struggle to decide what skincare I'm actually bringing. So I wanted to show you guys what I truly pack and bring with me. Fair warning, I'm not a minimalist. <laughs> I like to have all of my things and I feel like it's when you're traveling that our skin is exposed to a new environment and it can be a little bit vulnerable. We might notice more breakouts or more dryness. So I definitely like to have all my normal tools that I would have in my toolbox. Also really like to prioritize self-care and those pampering products when I'm on a trip, which especially around the holidays, I feel like sometimes we can feel guilty for taking that extra time for ourselves, but I feel like it's so grounding and necessary, especially during the holiday that involves so much socializing, which for me as an introvert, it can be a lot. So I really like leaning into my normal routines and just enjoying my routine and skincare to the fullest. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you pick up some tips. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will link all of the products below, many of which help to support my small business. And I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm so thankful for you and I feel that every day and all the time, um, but especially during Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys know how truly grateful I am for you. Even if you take the time to watch this video or leave me some sort of comment, it means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for being so amazing. As always, don't forget to like this video. If you do, follow me on my other social media, which I will link in the comments. Subscribe for more and let's get into it. So if you know me, you probably know I love to ramble, I love to talk about skincare, which is why I also have a podcast, but for the sake of this video and not boring you guys, I'm going to try to attempt to move through these products relatively quickly and just tell you why I love them and why they're enjoyable for me. So let's get started. I'm going to start at the top with the cleansers I travel with. So. Starting with the vitamin C cleanser from Glymed Plus, and yes, they do make a very convenient travel size. I wish I remembered to pick that up, but you know what? It's okay because I'm going to be here for about a week and a half, and I go through kind of a lot of this because I use it in the morning, and I also use it as the first cleanse in my double cleanse routine, which I do every evening to remove makeup, SPF, surface level impurities, and then get a little bit deeper with my second cleanse. I adore this cleanser. It is an antioxidant packed cleanser, great for brightening and just gives me such a boost of energy and um, it's just really enjoyable to use. If you have used the Mega Purifying Cleanser by Glymed Plus, which I also love and that's a staple for me, this consistency is a little bit more thin. It's not as creamy and balmy as Mega Purifying, but it still can be used to remove makeup. So I kind of like alternating between the two and this is just really lovely and can't say enough good things about it. If you haven't tried it yet, it's worth picking up. I also love to use this as a body wash. So in that sense, it does kind of make sense for me to bring the larger size because any of Glymed's cleansers can also be used on the body. And it's a great one for winter time because it does have that more creamy consistency and just helps you to feel clean, but smooth and brightened and not dry. For my next cleanse that I love to use as a second cleanse in my nighttime routine, we have the Gentle Facial Wash by Glymed Plus. Now, one thing I will say is I feel like this product is poorly named and unfortunately, it leads a lot of people to believe it's a very gentle cleanser that 
anyone can pick up and use twice a day. It is a 10% glycolic acid um, facial wash. So for me, I have a pretty strong, sturdy skin type. I'm more combination skin and my skin is used to um, a lot of acids, retinoids, it can tolerate a lot. So for me, this is okay to use once a day, but should I feel dry, I will just opt for my vitamin C cleanser. Um, I love this if you want a deeper cleanse or for my rosacea clients. So sensitive clients or rosacea clients can use this. They just wanna ease into it and I would suggest using it as your form of exfoliation a couple times a week um, or I love to use it post-workout or for normal to oily skin types so <laughs> not necessarily gentle if you use it a lot but it's not like it feels um, spicy or aggressive on the skin it's just really going to deep clean because of those AHAs and offer a true deep cleanse also great before any kind of treatments as a little bit of a prep. Next we have the Skin Recovery Mist by Glymed Plus. So I typically reach for the CBD mist when I'm at home, but when I'm traveling, this is nice because of the smaller size and it's just a great go-to hydrating mist that's going to bind water to the skin. And I feel it's especially important to have a toner or a mist in your routine in general and especially especially when you're traveling and acclimating to a new environment and new tap water. It's very important to remove any trace minerals from your tap water after you cleanse the skin. So for me, this is a must. I also feel like most people are dry or dehydrated after some form of travel or just the weather getting colder overall. So I always need to have a mist when I get out of the shower. That way I can just kind of spritz and lock in that hydration before your skin has a chance to lose it to trans-epidermal water loss. So for me, a toner is like, a must have. Next we have the Bioderma Micellar Water. I mean, how cute is this little bottle? It's so precious. Um, I normally go for the pink cap, but picked up the green this time just to try something new. It's supposed to be a little bit more purifying. I think I prefer the pink sensitive version, but they're all really nice. And I just love this product in general. It's the one micellar water that I found not only works for me but works for a range of skin types, doesn't leave an oily residue behind, doesn't break you out, isn't irritating, so I'm a big fan and this is what I use to just fully remove any eye makeup or kind of superficial makeup, etc. before I get into my double cleanse. I do pack some little cotton rounds with this guy, but if you can, avoid the makeup wipes. I know it's a little more inconvenient to pack something like this with cotton rounds, but I believe it definitely pays off in terms of not irritating or damaging your skin. Okay, next, I've got all my little serums. I don't know who travels with four serums, but I do, and that's just how I live my life. I have to say, this is one of my favorite products by Glymed. It came out in 2021, and they also have a mask version of this product. It contains medical grade CBD, which works with our body's own endocannabinoid system to restore balance, as well as micro silver. And there are some really interesting studies comparing the success, I think, the number was around 95% in terms of success compared to topical steroids when it comes to treating inflammatory conditions. So whether we're talking acne, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, this is just that go-to calming product that's not going to be too sensitizing and will also help restore barrier health it smells incredible because of the mango and green tea extract so it's packed with antioxidants and 
I myself like to use this product and make sure I have it with me because like I mentioned when you're traveling things can get a little bit crazy and I like to have something calming and restorative. I also use quite a lot of actives, exfoliating products, and retinoids which I'll show you guys in a second here um, but because of that I like to balance out my routine and have one to two nights a week I take off from my acids that I can just work on calming my skin, hydrating it, and not doing too too much. Next I have the SkinCeuticals CE Perulic which was given to me in a little goodie bag after a facial. I'm normally a pro heal by is clinical kind of gal but this is so easy to travel with and cute and I wanted to use it up so I use this in the morning time before my moisturizer and SPF. Next I have the Glymed Plus Living Cell Clarifier love that it comes in this tiny little bottle which surprisingly has lasted me months and months and i got impatient and ended up buying the full size but this thing will last so living cell clarifier is a terazinase inhibitor i actually like to pair it with my vitamin c to inhibit that pigment and melanin so this tends to be um something that i use to kind of keep my pigment cells calm and chill i am prone to melasma and pigmentation so i always make sure i have a terazinase inhibitor in my morning routine whether it's summertime or winter so i love this guy my clients love the texture of this one it wears really nice under your other products I feel like sometimes when you're layering serums, you can feel like things tend to pill, but I never have an issue with living cell and it just feels really hydrating. You can use it morning or nighttime and it's pretty affordable for what you get. So a lot of clients tend to love this one. My fave, tretinoin, which if you've watched my videos for a while, you might know this about me, that I am a longtime tret user. I credit it to really helping me with my acne journey. And it's funny because I've noticed tretinoin has become a lot more popular on social media in the past couple years, especially on TikTok. And for a while, I kind of felt like the dark horse using tret because I feel like it hasn't always been embraced um, in the esthetician community, especially because it is a prescription, but I happen to believe it's great for the right person. When I worked in a medical spa, providers would recommend it to most of our acne clients or patients, and for the most part, a lot of people have good success with it. I've definitely had good success with it. It no longer irritates me whatsoever. However, on the other side, I do have clients who have tried to use TRET for one to two years. And at that point, if they aren't getting over the purging stage and their skin is worsening and they're incurring a lot of acne scarring because of it, it might be something to reevaluate. So it's really interesting how certain things work for some people and don't work for others. And that's kind of the, I'd say, like nuance of skincare and why it can be really interesting and fascinating as an esthetician to try to put the puzzle pieces together and find what works for people. But yeah, what works for one doesn't always work for the next. I have been trying out the gel formula. I don't know why I keep waving this around. Um, I have been trying the gel formula and the 0.025% lately because I noticed my forehead has been getting really congested. I've been dealing with some closed comedones, more blackheads, and for me, that's like the main area where I break out. So I was noticing when I was using the cream version of Tret and then my moisturizer, things felt a little bit too congested in that area. So I switched to the gel and I knew I might have to go down a level when working with the gel because it can be a little bit more drying. My skin is kind of interesting. It is oily from the forehead up where I deal with my congestion and then the rest of my skin tends to be normal to dry. So I'm a true combo skin, oily in the T-zone, um, but 
for me that's something I notice and I may even experiment a little bit with using the gel on the forehead and using the cream formula on the rest of my face um, but that's how I've been using tretinoin and that's something that definitely comes with me on my trips and that I stick with the entire year. I knew I was going to be babbling on, so I'm going to try to go a little faster. Next, I have the CBD Regenerative Eye Cream by Glymed Plus. This is fantastic. It also contains the CBD. It's very hydrating as well, so I love this for firming, tightening, really hydrating my eye area, and just chef's kiss. Love this. Um, quite potent. You might want to ease into it if you're a first time user. I'd say use it once a day until you acclimate because again, it is potent and eventually you will probably be able to use it morning and night. I have my evening moisturizer and sometimes I'll use the same moisturizer for day and night, but lately I've been liking using something lighter in the day and then really just layering it up at night. So I've been using the vitamin E sensual cell cream from Glymed Plus. This is a favorite for me, although I have to say I could totally see how some people would feel like it's a little bit too thick. I've noticed if there's one thing people are picky with, it's consistency. And I think that's fair. I'm such a texture person too, and I have to like the consistency of it. To some people, if something is a little bit sticky or a little bit too heavy, they get very turned off. So I would say with this cream, it's more of a traditional heavier weight moisturizer. Once it's on, it feels very silky, but I can see how in the application process, it does have a little bit of stick. It has a little bit of weight to it, which I like. It is more nourishing and it does have shea butter, which is a fantastic, silky, nourishing and hydrating ingredient. You are going to notice a 25% increase in hydration from this product. And if you're somebody who is chronically dry or you're a dry rosaceous skin type or you have mature skin and you really want something a little bit sturdier when it comes to a moisturizer, Vitamin E Sensual Cell Cream is your girl. I love it. Now for my daytime moisturizer. So I do not have rosacea. However, I'm obsessed with the Rosacea Relief Moisturizer because it does address inflammation. So I actually think this is such a great product for just a lightweight moisturizer for really anybody who's dealing with chronic inflammation, especially my acneic clients. I think this product is just beautiful and underrated, especially for acneic skin types because it's so lightweight and as it dries down it has more of a satin to matte finish it's not super super matte but kind of in the middle and it is oil absorbing so i like this in the daytime or if i want to throw something lightweight on for a workout and it has a really herbal I'd say like a herbal scent to it, um, but I really enjoy this as something lightweight. And if you do have rosacea, this is fantastic for minimizing and mitigating the flushing and blushing that you might experience. So if somebody has rosacea, you want this in your kit so you can just address that inflammation, especially during the holidays. I feel like every rosacea client needs to have rosacea relief in their home care and definitely as kind of like an emergency kit item, especially around the holidays when you might be consuming something like alcohol or red wine a little bit more. This does contain isin, which is going to help strengthen those capillary walls so we can limit that flushing and blushing, which when repeated is exacerbating the trauma you're already experiencing with rosacea. So. Let's quickly go through some of the masks I bring, which I know, I know, it's excessive to bring three masks on vacation, but for me, especially as a combo skin type, I never know if I'm going to be experiencing more dryness and flaking or need more oil control and more of like a purifying type of mask. So I bring them all. These are some of my absolute favorite masks. First, we have the ultra hydrating enzyme mask 
a good go-to mask for really all skin types. Enzymes are absolutely incredible. And they're gonna help digest those dead cells that are on the surface layer of our skin. This also packs a ton of hydration. It's like that classic green mask you see on the movies, so it's a lot of fun to wear. I feel like it smells like watermelon as well and you really can't overdo this one so it's a nice one to pack for that self-care next we have the restorative skin clarifying mask i love this because it's such a gentle clay mask and i feel like a lot of them are really harsh or intense and you feel like a literal chalkboard after you wash them off it helps to clear away impurities as well as lift off some of the micro damage we experience from environmental pollution and i just like using this when i feel like i need a little bit of a deep clean but at the same time i use active so i don't need something too too aggressive lastly the cbd micro silver miracle mask which i didn't realize i brought but i guess i did i have gone through so many of these masks <laughs> I've said before, it reminds me of like the cake you would get at high tea. It smells so delicious. It's basically the mask version of the CBD Micro Silver Miracle. And I also love cocktailing them together for just a beautiful, hydrating, calming mask. And again, this is the go-to if you are somebody who's dealing with sensitivity or inflammation, you need these two products because there are a lot of sensitized people who feel like they can't use a majority of what's out there because it's going to cause um, a stinging or burning sensation. So these are great for not only calming inflammation, but also repairing your barrier function and just getting things more normalized and balanced. Next, I have just a few little fun extras that are really easy to travel with. So again, I'm all about the self-care and I think that time you have with yourself is just as important as the high quality ingredients. So we can't underestimate pampering. I feel like in the spa world, a lot of times it's called fluff, but if it makes you feel good, it makes you feel good. So I love starting my morning with the Patchology eye gels. I have the larger container at home, but these little single pack um, pairs are just so nice to travel with and once you get used to wearing eye gels in the morning I'm not going to give that up just because I'm traveling or I'm not at home so I love just throwing these in my bag and they just feel really nice and cooling you can also keep them in your fridge for a little extra anti-inflammatory effect Next, we have one of my absolute favorites in this entire bunch. I've been ranting and raving about it on Instagram. It is the Active Peel System. By the way, go to my Instagram and check out the before and after I posted just using these one time on one of my clients' care. It is pretty amazing for one-time use. And I know there are a lot of other peel systems on the market, but this is truly in my opinion, the best one out there because you're going to get that controlled exfoliation. You get AHAs and BHAs, which work best when combined, and you're going to get a lot of soothing benefits and hydration. So after you use these, you will not feel like completely stripped and dehydrated. And that's what I noticed when using the other peel systems. They might feel nice initially because they are quite strong and harsh but in the long term i felt like it was more damaging to my barrier function so i love that you get a lot of bang for your buck and this is something easy to use at home but at the same time they're designed to be used every other day if you like and are very soothing and gentle while being effective. So these are incredible. And whether you are a power user like me, you like to use it all, these are incredible. Um, or if you just like to have like one form ex of exfoliation that's easy, this is so simple. Two steps takes less than five minutes and I'm obsessed. So I have the Foreo Luna 3. I have to say I used to have the Luna 2 in the pink version and after trying the sensitive version which has these very fine bristles I have to say I could never go back to the normal version and I feel like this is plenty even if you are a more normal skin type I 
like how thin and delicate they are. So for me, this is well worth packing because I feel like it's going to give me a complete thorough cleanse and at the same time give me some vibration therapy to help reduce puffiness and just allow me to feel like myself, which that's a feeling I want to feel when I'm traveling and without all of my normal things, I like to feel like I have some consistency and some products I can really count on. Now, I don't use this on my face, but I'm a California girl. I always like to be kind of glowy and bronze and tanned and this has been my go-to favorite tanner lately because it's so low maintenance. I used to be somebody who applied the foam on the mitts like once a week and I don't know if it's just getting older. I'm gonna be turning 31 in a couple days but I just can't be bothered with the whole tanning mitt situation so for me this is a lot easier and a lot more foolproof and I feel like I can use it once for a little bit of a glow and then if I want to boost it for a vacation or photos, I can use it again and it gives me more of a gradual seamless tan. So if I kind of miss a spot, it is forgiving. I will say as with any kind of tanning lotion, you wanna make sure you wash your hands right away after using it. But I think this is gorgeous. I hadn't played around with tan looks too much yet, but I'm obsessed. I also ordered their body moisturizer from the Sephora sale, but so far this is like my new way of tanning and I will never go back to the foam. This is such a classic go-to product for me. I'm kind of surprised the progress I've made with this tube because they do give you so much product. This is the Glymed Plus Cell Protection Balm or Cell Balm as I call it. And it's just that go-to, you need to have it product. I like to use a little dollop of this in the winter time with my moisturizer because this lower half of my face tends to get more dry and flaky. So although I'm oily and clogged up here, I gotta make sure this lower half of my face is hydrated and it does need that little extra layer of occlusion before I go to bed at night. So I'm obsessed with this. It is inert and non-comedogenic, meaning it will not clog your pores. With that, I have to say, some clients may need to be more cautious than others, even if a brand says something is non-comedogenic. For me, it has not been a problem, although I am very acneic, but I always say that with caution because if there's underlying congestion and then we're occluding it, it's always possible somebody could break out. So far, the feedback from my clients and that I know um, from my own personal use, this has been fantastic even for acneic skin but if you're nervous you could always use it just on the lips on cuticles on hands and feet even just a little bit added to your moisturizer to make it a little bit more appropriate and nourishing for winter time is incredible but for me this is like a must have in my travel bag so many things I know but I'm a picky girl and I just I have my favorites I know what I like and I stick with it okay next we have the youth lip elixir by is clinical I do feel like the lips are an area in skincare that gets neglected I feel like for the most part a lot of us are not exfoliating and treating the lips aside from like lip balm. So it's something I've been getting more into, especially as I get older and I notice more fine lines around my lips. Um, I've just been really obsessed with the Youth Lip Elixir. It contains vitamin C, E, and the Is Clinical Extreme Enzymes. So I've been loving this at night. I apply it like a serum and then I go in with my next step, which is the Glymed Plus ultra hydrating lip balm if you know you know this is a really popular product from glymed plus because it's so nourishing it has those vasodilators to pep up your lip and just smells very minty and fresh so it's such a dream to reach for and i've really been liking this combination last but not least all of my spfs <laughs> that i bring with me on vacation 
SPF is so, so crucial, whether it's summertime, wintertime, you wanna make sure we wear it all year round and make it part of your daily routine, and that includes reapplication. I'm honestly surprised sometimes how many clients don't wear sunscreen daily, and I understand at the same time because for most of them, their main concern that they're dealing with is acne and clogged pores. And the last thing they want to do is add another layer that could possibly be congestive. So all of these are acne safe. They're lightweight. They're very enjoyable to wear. And you want to make sure you find formulas that you can wear and reapply without causing a problem. And I have to say, I feel like I look younger now than I did in my 20s. In part, of course, because of all the great treatments and skincare I use, but I think a big part of that is being so diligent with my SPF. I am that person who reapplies regularly, and I'm so careful now because of the mistakes I made when I was younger. I went in tanning beds. I was at the beach every weekend I could get there. I would tan with baby oil, just really everything you're not supposed to do. <laughs> I did. Um, so sunscreen is very much part of my life now. So I'll show you guys some of my favorites. First, we have a classic, the Glymed Plus Photo Age Environmental Protection Gel. This is a physical and chemical SPF 30, and it's a gel-like consistency, so very lightweight. I have seen this on a Fitz 1 through a Fitz 5. It does blend out, but the main thing is it is a very lightweight. SPF, so ideal for more normal to oily skin types. But a lot of clients rave about this and say they really like how lightweight it is. I love to wear this when I'm working out outdoors or just for my normal day-to-day -day walks outside. Now, I do love a tinted SPF, so when I want something tinted, maybe after I've done my morning walk or workout, I've showered and I'm kind of getting ready for the day, this tends to be my go-to. I feel like not that many people know about this SPF, but it is such a gem and I can't see anyone having a complaint with this tinted SPF because it's just so beautiful. It's very lightweight. It is more hydrating than the Photo Age SPF, but it's very glowy, natural, light, hydrating. Um, so even if you're an oily skin type, you could totally wear this. And this tends to be my go-to day-to-day no makeup makeup look. I'm wearing it right now. I love putting it on before my virtual consults because I feel like it just slightly color corrects so I look like myself, but <laughs> a little bit enhanced. The Is Clinical Perfect Tint Powder is one of my ride or dies. I've been obsessed with it ever since it came out this year. I feel like it makes SPF reapplication so, so easy, especially if you're not in the position to wash your hands and reapply SPF. So on my road trip down here, this made life so easy. You can just reapply and I feel like, to me, it looks like I'm just touching up my makeup, but I'm really just reapplying my SPF. So you kind of kill two birds with one stone. I love the finish it gives my skin and I'm so not a powder girl. So I never thought I would be able to wear and love a powder because it can tend to kind of exacerbate my dryness. But because this formula is so hydrating and contains glycerin, it feels very silky and just sets the skin beautifully. Last but not least is my Color Science Total Eye. I got my mom hooked on this and I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure you are applying SPF around the eyes because this is an area that's very prone to movement. We tend to blink and squint a lot and this is a very delicate tissue that is easily impacted by UV rays. So you definitely want to protect it and when I was younger, another mistake and kind of misconception I thought was that you're not supposed to put SPF around your eyes. Some formulas can burn and be too sensitizing, so I don't have that issue with the Total Eye. And I wear this like a concealer, even though it's a color corrector, but overall I just find it really brightens and helps improve my overall skin health while providing the SPF. So for me, this is like 
a must have, must use every day. Thank you guys so much for watching this long what's in my travel bag video, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a super happy and safe holiday. Do not forget to take care of yourself and that you are so worthy of your alone time even if it feels like there's a lot going on around you and a lot of other people need your attention do not neglect yourself and don't forget to prioritize your self-care and your skincare i love you guys so so much thank you for watching and i will talk to you in the next video